Alright everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. We're here in Townsville. This is the final day of travel, the third day of three. For any of you guys who've been here the whole way, man, thank you. Thanks for all your support. I really appreciate it and I hope you've enjoyed coming along for the ride. You know, this is... I, I wanted to... I, I could have just driven, you know, not made any videos, but just like I did in the last one, I, this is nostalgic purposes, man. I. I I like making it, especially travel type vlog videos, I like making them not to get so many views, not to get so many likes, make any money, it's more so to document my life, man, and, and to go and look back at it in years to come is, is going to be great, and especially for big times in my life like this one, you know, moving cities, I had to do it. So I hope you've enjoyed. Oh, my phone's ringing. Who is that? My sister. Hey, buddy. Hey, how are you? What? I said, how are you? I'm going good. How hot is it? Not that bad. Human? Little bit, but it's it's doable. But I'm about to go up 400 k's or 350 k's, so it's going to be even worse. Oh God! I have that so exciting voice. Okay, talk right. to you soon. All right then. See ya. Bye. 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 All right, anyways, whoops. Okay, so today's the day. We're heading off to Cairns. I'm gonna see it for the first time in my life. I'm gonna see my daughter for the first time in two months. It's gonna be great. I'm not sure what part of Townsville I'm in, but it's, I don't know, I feel like I'm out of the, uh, actually I am. I'm about eight Ks away from the city center, but that's what I wanted. I didn't wanna, I wanted a free car park. There's two things, two things I go for or I look for when I'm booking a room, especially like, you know, last minute and things. It's a free car park and Wi-Fi. And if you don't have both of those, then I'm not staying. Sorry, three things. Under a hundred bucks, if I can. Free Wi-Fi, free car park. It's been a good night. As per usual, we got the laptop out, we got the HDMI cable to the TV. I'm just downloading a couple of things. Uh, a couple of videos for me to watch on the way. It uh, should take about three and a half hours. So, I guess, staying in the theme that we've been doing previously, I will, <laughs> I'll turn on the camera when we stop for our eighth petrol stop of the trip. Okay? And that'll be it. Eighth and final. <sighs> Finally. Alright, so, we're at Shell. Okay, we're at the petrol station. Last stop. Officially 36.54 litres. We're paying $1.34. So it was about 49 bucks. And before we go, I'm pretty sure it's the seventh or the eighth stop. Some of you guys might not give a shit. But you know what? Me being the kind of guy I am, I need to know. I need to know exactly how many stops we've made. I've kept all the receipts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Really? Nine. Nine stops. Wow, I, I missed one there. I'm not sure how, I'm not sure where, I'm not sure when. But I did. Nine. So at the end of this, I'm going to count up how many litres the car took. Because I'm very interested to know exactly how efficient this car is. And... I haven't been absolutely belting it at like 140, 150. I've been going at about between 120, 125 all the way. So uh, when I have been traveling at like 140 or 150, it just absolutely chews through the gas. Um, so it hasn't been too bad this time. But I, I want to know exactly, if I'm traveling long distance, 120 Ks an hour, exactly how many liters of fuel I can get per 100 Ks. So we're gonna work that out. But for now, I've got 333 kilometers to go. Sorry guys, I, I tell a lie, it's 331. Google is estimating four hours. And I'd say Google would most probably be right. So I'll see you in Cairns, guys. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fucking, I'm not gonna worry about my accommodation. I'm gonna go straight to Tate's house or Miffy's house and I'm gonna knock on the door and I'm gonna see what happens because face to face, things is just gonna be totally different, I hope. If she doesn't let me in the door, 
we've got problems. All right, so wish me luck, cross your fingers, smash that like button, one like equals one prayer that today is gonna end well. I assume it's gonna end well, but if she makes it hard for me to see my daughter, it's not. Oh, almost forgot. It's about that time. See you later, guys. All right, so we stopped at a place called Caldwell, and I thought, you know what, this is a good place to stop. I found a, a little coffee van on the side of the road. Coffee and cake, it said. And I was like, yep, that's me. So, you know what, I've stopped for the first time by the ocean, and uh, I wanna jump out of the car and uh, have a look with you guys, and see how humid it is. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Let's see what happens. If the camera lens fogs up, it's humid. People are going to look at me funny. I've got to get a smaller camera, that's what I've got to do. I've got to get an actual vlogging camera. But here we are. Oh my god, oh my god, we've got sand. <laughs> look at this. It's the warmest water I've ever fucking felt. I'll tell you what, just looking down, this reminds me of Thailand. No shit, this reminds me exactly of Thailand. That water has to be 30 degrees. Anyways guys, where's that coffee? I'm thirsty. We got the coffee, but no cakes! Man, that's what I wanted! Especially after having that smoke, that's all I, that's all I wanted. I didn't really want a coffee. Anyways, I'll never say no. Although you do have to watch it. So we've got about two hours to go, and I'm, I'm hungry now. <laughs> so I might get something to eat. Every time I put the camera down, I think I'm not going to get it out again. And then I... I want to, you know? It'd be great to have a cameraman, that's for sure. In fact, one thing I do regret about rushing into this trip, trip to the US is I don't have anyone sorted to help me film, which would... Sorry, I'm trying to find my key. <laughs> which would, um... You know that feeling when you're tapping your pockets and you don't know where something is? Uh, yeah, it'd be great to have someone to come around with me and video me doing stuff, but it's just going to be me, so we're going to have to deal with it. I'll tell you what, it just feels nice. <laughs> feels nice seeing some green grass. I'm not going to lie. Alright guys, you can't see it, but we're officially like five minutes away. And would you look at the weather! <laughs> I can't see anything! There's like amazing mountains and green grass and hills and everything in the background but you just, you can't see it because of the fog and the rain. And I think I've just got to get used to this because there's going to be a hell of a lot of rain. But man, I'm so excited, I'm here, I'm like, oh man, 10 minutes away, I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous to see my own bloody daughter. Is, is, is that normal? I don't know. I've just got to get there, I've got to start being a dad, I've got to start being a father, I'm not going to pull the camera out, you know, I'm just going to go, I'm just going to go knock on the door and see what happens, and I'll report back to you guys in whenever man, hopefully the next shot you see, we're about five minutes away, the next shot you see, hopefully, will be me and my own daughter, I don't even know what to say, I honestly don't, I just got to, I don't want to f see. I'm over analyzing things. Don't do that, Jacob. Just arrive. Be yourself. Look at this rain. What do you think? Oh my god! Guys, I think the. Like, 
bloody weather's got worse. How is that possible? I might be coming into a cyclone. <laughs> oh my god. And I, I think this happens like every every afternoon. Same up in Darwin as well. Now ask me in six months whether I still love rain. I might not, but right now I have not seen rain in so long. I frick it. Like, every time we talk about weather in Alice Springs, I always tell people, yeah, I love winter, I love I love uh, I love the rain. Keep left and continue I always you know, as long as I can remember, ever since I was a kid, I've always loved the rain. I've always loved that comforting feeling of, of being inside a car or being inside your house. Meters at the roundabout, take the second exit onto Captain Cook Highway, State Route 44. You know, being inside your house, just all, all snug and cosy, and that's exactly how I feel right now. Um, you know, everyone around me that lives here is probably sick of it, but right now... I'm loving it. I'm loving it. In 400 meters, turn left. All right, guys. If you can see that, we're literally 350 meters away. I, th I, I can't help but bring the camera out, honestly. We've been driving for 2,400 kilometers. How many Ks? 2,458 kilometers, guys. It's been a fucking mammoth task. We're looking for number 40. He's in an apartment complex, some sort of apartment complex. Uh, it looks quite nice Take around Take the here. next left, then your destination will be on the right. Take the next left and your destination will be on the right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I passed it. <laughs> Let me turn around. Take the it does look quite nice around here now. Turn right, then your destination will be on the right. Turn right? What do you mean turn right? Where? Is that where she lives? No, there's a gate there. I'm not going to be able to go in. Okay, let's pull over here. Okay, we made it. In 300 meters, turn left. Let's try again. 